Let's take a look at how our up arm works, shall we? Let's use what we've learned so far. All right, let's start with a nice, free, and easy and balanced torso and head. All right, our shoulder, just, eh, just let it go. All right, except this time we're going to add something. All right. Let's go ahead and let's raise our forearms as if we're getting poised to play the piano. Now, from this starting position, Let's go ahead and let's take a look at all the motions that our upper arm is capable of. So, let's go ahead and swing forward from the shoulder. Just kind of do this kind of medium speed right now, just so you can see what it looks like. Return, and then let's go ahead and swing backward. Again, about the shoulder, and return. So let's do this again, except let's concentrate on any feelings of tension that we experience. All right. So you might notice before we even start, there's already a bit of tension in place just by virtue of having our form extended, right, ready to play. Unfortunately, this is just the nature of the beast, right? Because here's the piano. Don't worry, we're going to talk about forms a little bit later, but just wanted to give you a heads up there that yeah, this is one of those little bits of tension that you know we're just going to have to live with at least for a little while. So let's go ahead and let's swing forward from the shoulder and if you're like me, you're starting to notice some tension in your upper arm, you feel it in your shoulder, probably radiating up into your neck, even, even into your back a little bit. And of course this is nothing but gravity wanting to pull our arms down and all our muscles having to counteract that to hold it up. Right? So let's go ahead and return and just see how those feelings of tension tend to dissipate. All right. So let's go ahead and repeat. So swing backward this time. And do it slowly and just notice those feelings of tension. Again, gravity is wanting to pull our arm down and our muscles are having to counteract to hold it up. Right? And let's return. Just notice how those feelings of tension tend to dissipate. Great. So let's do it again. Let's do a kind of medium speed and just somewhere between swinging forward and swinging back and notice a place somewhere in between those extremes where things just feel real free and easy, right? Now, as free and easy as they can with your, you know, forearms sticking out in front of you, right? But just as free and easy as you can, right? And just find that place, you know, somewhere in here, right? And again, this is not going to be a rigid place. It's going to be very, very much alive. So let's go ahead and take a look at another motion. So this is like flapping our wings, if you will. So go ahead, and again, from your shoulder, we're going to kind of flap our arms like we're flapping our wings. Let's go ahead and lift. Just kind of medium speed to see what it looks like now. And return. And then let's go the other way. Yeah, actually you can go the other way. Right? Let's kind of pull in like we're going to tuck our wings away. And pretty much it's a feeling of your elbow coming into your sides. And just kind of pulling in. Right? And then return. So let's do this again, except this time let's just focus on the sensations we experience. All right, so let's go ahead and lift. Again, like flapping your wings very slowly. And notice feelings of tension creeping in. If you're like me, you're feeling it in your upper arms, to your shoulder, uh, across your back, into your neck. I'm even feeling this one a little bit creeping into my forearms. And, you know, that's, again, that's just gravity trying to pull our arms down and our muscles trying to hold them up. And let's return and notice how those feelings of tension tend to dissipate. Let's go the other way, right? Let's pull that wing in. And you're going to notice there's not very much motion available to us there, but boy, there's sure plenty of tension available to us, right? I can feel this in my upper arms, uh, this is in my shoulder, I can feel it into my back, and a little bit of my neck, and let's
let's go ahead and slowly return and just feel those feelings of tension just tend to disappear right so let's do it again kind of medium speed right let's kind of flop up and return and pull up tight against our sides right then up then back against your side and just kind of notice some place in between those where things feel nice and free and easy and balanced. Again, as free and easy as you can with your forearms sticking out in front of you, right? Great. So let's take a look at the last motion your upper arm is capable of. And it's this. It's a rotation which occurs from your shoulder. The curious thing about this motion is, and let's, let's do this, let's rotate clockwise, is it's really hard to see it directly in your upper arm, right? The only way to really see this motion clearly is to see what your forearm is doing. See what's happening to my forearm there is, that's not a motion of my elbow, right? That's actually a motion of rotation from the shoulder. And I don't want to make too big a deal over this motion. I just wanted to show it for completeness sake. It's just something to be aware of. And it's something that we might want to incorporate into our playing if we encounter a technical problem later on, as we'll see later. So, let's go ahead and let's put this all together, right? Let's go ahead, right, and let's swing. And let's go ahead and flap. And let's rotate. And let's just kind of put all those together and kind of, you know, kind of mix and match, randomize them a little bit, right? And just get as comfortable as you can. Now, what you want to do is you just want to find a nice and easy place, right? Which, for me, turns out to be just somewhere in here, right? And we don't want to analyze this to death, right? We don't want to turn this into a physics lesson or some pre-med anatomy lesson, right? We just want to find somewhere where it feels good. And, uh, you know, the place where it feels good, to be honest, is really tough to put into words, right? It's like, how, how do you describe this to somebody? Well, I have a metaphor that I hope you find useful, and this is the thought I'll leave you with on the upper arms is just think C-3PO.